Hello everyone, I am Angel Perdon of Tom 11 in La Consolacion, College, Manila. And today, we are going to discuss about the measure of dispersion. But before that, what is measure of dispersion? So, measure of dispersion is the measure of variability of a set of data is a number that conveys the idea of spread for the data set. In simple terms, measure of dispersion is to show how squeezed or scattered the variable is. To measure the spread of dispersion of data, we must introduce the statistical values known as the range, standard deviation, and the variance. The first one is the range. So the range measures the distance between the largest and the smallest values given in a data set. So the formula of range is R is equals to highest value minus the lowest value. Examples. The first given data set is 1, 5, 9, 10, and 22. So by following the formula of range, which is R is equals to the highest value minus the lowest value. So to find the range, we must find the highest value first and the lowest value. So the highest value is 22 and the lowest value is 1. We will substitute it. So R is equals to 22, the highest value, minus 1, the lowest value. So 22 minus 1 is equals to 21. Therefore, our range is equals to 21. Another example is the given data sets are 2, 3, 5, 6, and 11. Same process on the first example, we must find the highest value and the lowest value. So in this given data set, 11 is the highest and 2 is the lowest. So by following the formula of range, 11 being the highest value minus 2 being the lowest value. So 11 minus 2 is equals to 9. Therefore, our range is equals to 9. The next one is the variance. The variance for a given data set is the square of the standard deviation of the data. To compute the variance of the population, this is the formula we will use. Sigma squared equals to the summation of the quantity of x minus mu squared over n. And to compute the variance of the sample, the formula we will use is s squared is equals to the summation of the quantity of x minus mu squared over n minus 1. The next one is the standard deviation. So the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So this two is what we are going to use to find the standard deviation. Or in simplest terms, to make it easier, you're just going to get the square root of your variance of population or the variance of the sample. So there is a procedure for computing a standard deviation. The first one is to determine the mean of the n numbers. And the second one is, for each number, calculate the deviation or difference between the number and the mean of the numbers. Third is, calculate the square of each deviation and find the sum of these squared deviations. Fourth is, if the data is a population, then divide the sum by n. And if the data is a sample, then divide the sum by n minus 1. The last step is find the square root of the quotient in step number 4. Examples. The following numbers were obtained by sampling population. The given data sets are 2, 4, 6, and 8. Step 1. Find the mean of the given data set. To find the mean of the given data set, we must add the 2, 4, 6, and 8. So basically, 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 over 4. So 20 over 4 is equals to 5. So why 4? Because there are 4 given, which is the 2, 4, 6, and 8. So for you to find this, you will just have to count the numbers in the given data. Step 2, computing the variance. So the formula we will use is the sample. So by using the formula of variance of the sample, let's identify the things we'll need before we substitute. So, our x are the given 2, 4, 6, and 8. Our mean is 5, and our n is 4. Now that we have identified it, let's now substitute. So, s squared is equals to 2 minus 5 squared plus 4 minus 5 squared plus 6 minus 5 squared plus 8 minus 5 squared over 4 minus 1. 
you can compute it by using your calculator. So the step 3 is the answer of the step 2. So S squared is equal to 20 over 3. That is the answer of the step 2. Step 4. To get the step 4, we just divided 20 over 3. So 20 over 3 is equal to 6.67. To get this step 5, you just have to square root the step 4. So, S squared is equal to the square root of 6.67. So, the square root of 6.67 is equal to 2.58. Another example. You grow 5 crystals from a solution and measure the length of each crystal in millimeters. Here is your data. 9, 5, 5, 4 and 12. Just like what we have done on the first example, we're just going to add all the given data and over it to the number of the given data. So 9 plus 5 plus 5 plus 4 plus 12 over 5 is equals to 35 over 5. So 35 over 5 is equals to 7. So let's proceed to the step 2. So computing the variance. So first, let's identify before we substitute. Our x are the given 9, 5, 5, 7, and 12, and our mean is 7, and our n is 5. Let's now substitute it. s squared is equal to 9 minus 7 squared plus 5 minus 7 squared plus 5 minus 7 squared plus 4 minus 7 squared plus 12 minus 7 squared over 5 over 1. The step 3 is s squared is equal to 46 over 4. And that is the answer for the step 2. Now let's proceed to the step 4. To get the step 4, all you have to do is divide the step 3. So 46 divided by 4. So the answer is S squared equals to 11.5. To get the step 5, all you have to do is squared the step 4. So S squared is equals to the square root of 11.5. So, the square root of 11.5 is S is equal to 3.39. And that is the end of the lesson. Thank you for watching and I hope you have learned something.